Cleveland, Wisconsin at Lakeshore Technical College. We're halfway between the Milwaukee and Green Bay area. What we do here is we are kind of a manufacturing and industry hub for education. We have a really strong manufacturing sector here. Uh, we have some of our big players, Sargento, there would be Kohler, Masters Gallery, we have Charter Steel. I mean, we're talking from cheese to um, sinks and bathtubs. There's just so many different things made in this part of the country. And what we have in this industry is a lot of smart manufacturing, high-speed manufacturing. And the benefit of that is we need a lot of highly skilled, highly trained workers to be able to run that equipment. The idea that manufacturing is going to be growing by more than 10% in the next few years, it's really important for uh, different people throughout the community to have a better understanding of what automation is, as well as how to do the different maintenance on it, how to program, uh, and work with different types of Industry 4.0 technologies. So we have students that can do anything from becoming a maintenance technician for the different types of robots or different um, automation systems that they have. Uh, many of them will program and edit different robots. They do a lot of PLC training and can make all the different systems work together. What we're doing is we're actually offering some dual credit opportunities for high school students. So they can take these Intro to Industry 4.0 classes while they're still in high school and that gives them a leg up towards their manufacturing engineering degree so they can earn college credits in high school towards uh, an associate's degree. They're amazing opportunities. We can learn you know, life skills while being in school. They're taking classes in technical education and doing things with CNC or welding, HVAC, Electromac, whatever the area that the student is interested in. They're taking those classes as a high school student. They're starting them at their location and then once they complete the basic certificate, they're able to come to Lakeshore to finish off their degrees while they're still in high school. I actually knew nothing about machining before I came in and I learned everything I know now. But yeah, it, it really helped me to open my eyes to other careers and things like that. So this Industry 4.0 equipment gives those students the knowledge base that they need going into the industry. We have all different types of industry certifications available. The main one that we're working with right now is our SACA certifications. And a lot of what we do with SACA actually allows a worker from industry to come in, take a test, and if they pass it, they earn the certification that they can put on their resume. Industry can utilize these credentials uh, when hiring people uh, in the sense that they know that the students have that skill. We're a competency-based education school, so we tend to make sure that students can master the different skills that they're looking for, and with SACA credentials, it falls right into that, uh, because students that are completing the gold certification for SACA um, are able to actually demonstrate the use of how to program a robot or how to um, set up a PLC and make a smart factory work. Oh, there's definitely a tech shortage here in Wisconsin. A lot of people move to New York, California, the big cities, but we always forget about Milwaukee, Sheboygan, these large cities here in Wisconsin that have a major players in the industry. We have a lot of those employers on our advisory committees for our specific program, and they're always just asking for more, honestly. <laughs> there's, how do we get more? How do we get more students? How do we get more? maintenance individuals and then that can build into more engineers and things like that. Our goal is to kind of just stay ahead of the curve, right? We know that things are coming through industry really, really quickly. So our goal is to make sure that we're staying ahead and able to train our community. The students that come through our program are almost entirely hired before they graduate because we have employers constantly showing up to try and recruit 